already know and you use picture clues okay so those are three things that we're going to focus on today that's how you make an inference so you know you guys have probably been doing that all along and didn't know you were doing it mm -hmm. probably so so we're going to try one really quick and then we're going to get into this really funny book I want to use to make inferences okay I want you to actually turn and talk about what can you infer from this picture um, yeah, I'm joking. and you guys can talk because it's just us in here And some of the language that we want to use when we make an inference is actually say, I infer, okay? I infer that they painting the house, building it. I infer that they making a new house. I infer that they're probably fixing the house up. I infer that they probably turn the light, make the house pretty. Okay. I infer they're trying, probably trying to make the house a little better. Okay, and I like the way, you know, you guys are very, um, Ms. Dalton has you guys. Uh, and I like that. Now, a lot of you said they're fixing the house, they're painting it up, maybe the glass broke. Does it say that? No. no. So how did you know that? The clues, you know that? the clues, I, I looked at it. Turn and talk just like you guys make those inferences? Okay, I'm going to start with, can you tell me your name one more time? Breon. Breon. Wonderful name. Go ahead, Breon. I knew that because I see a cake, clowns, and I see the cake, clowns, and I see the clowns, and I see the clowns, and I see the Very good. Anybody else want to add to that? I that because I see balloons, ice cream, cameras, and also a banner. 
Okay. And Taylor? I knew that because there was lots of people. There was like candles. And it looked like they was having a celebration. Okay, so what it sounds like to me is that you guys actually use your schema. Schema, right? And the clues because... You know, when you've had a birthday party before, you've had cake and a banner and maybe a clown and all those people there to support you, right? Yes. So without you even knowing that you used your schema, you just did it. What if you never had a birthday party? Would you know that that's what a birthday party looked like? No. So that's where your schema and your background knowledge comes into play, okay? All right, so I wanted to give you that. And what we're going to do today, and I hope you guys like this book because it's actually a cool Humpty book. Humpty Dumpty. It, it is Humpty Dumpty. So you have some background knowledge and using your schema about Humpty Dumpty, right? Who pushed, Who pushed Humpty, okay? And this book is, a, is you're going to have to be a detective today. And we're going to have to figure out who pushed Humpty. Do you guys know about nursery rhymes? Yes. yes. Okay. There are some people in here from some nursery rhymes, and they are all being um, accused of pushing Humpty. So we're going to have to the figure knights. out. Like, maybe the knights. Maybe. We're going to have to figue out exactly who pushed Little Miss Muffet. Okay. And you're going to have to make inferences in order to figure out who Can't did it. The True, Little Miss Muffet. All right. So yeah. let me start, and I'm going to read this to you. There's a rhyme we all recall that tells of Humpty and his fall. From the wall he fell headlong. But how did it happen? What went wrong? Who pushed Humpty? Was it a crime? We'll look at the suspects one at a time. So, just looking at this picture, can you make an inference about who pushed Humpty? Um, not really, but I know they would have to be with Humpty to be able to push them, or they would have to be like a mean, like an enemy, or they could have just been playing around on the wall. Okay. Um, Humpty is broken and the policeman is on top of the wall so it could have been a policeman. Okay, that's a very good inference. Okay, what else? The policeman academic person that was taking notes. When he well, okay, so we know he's a policeman. What do you be what would the policeman be doing with that notepad? Writing writing down, down notes. Writing, writing a note down notes or writing what? Clues down what happened. Maybe clues or maybe he could be writing schema. He could probably be writing... What do police officers write people when they do the wrong thing? Tickets. A ticket. A ticket. So maybe he came up on Humpty and said what? You're not supposed to be sitting on that wall. And right? pushed him. Yeah. And he came over to write him a ticket and accidentally pushed him. Okay? Now I use my schema because I know that if I see an officer with a notepad, he, he may be writing a ticket or maybe clues. And I could infer that maybe when he went up to write Humpty that ticket because he wasn't supposed to be on that wall, he accidentally pushed him. It's special. Okay. So this next one is going to, it's going to be you guys' turn to try to make an inference. First, the old woman who lived in a shoe. She had lots of children, all hungry too. Did she see Humpty high on the wall and plan an omelet to feed them all? Did she push Humpty? She no. probably did because she, she probably was, did because she had, she got a lot of kids so she probably makes something to eat for their kids. She okay. probably. But how did you know? Humpty. 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 No. We can give her a chance to finish, okay? I mean, you can go. How did you know that? Because they said that she had a lot of kids and she was trying to make something to eat for them and she probably put something so she can make something. Okay, you gonna hold that for me because we got a multitask here because I have limited um, recording ability. Thank you. All right, so pass that book to someone else and let them make an inference. And you're gonna use the pictures and your what? Uh, oh, schema. Schema. All right. I think that she pushed Humpty down, like what Shamaya said, because she she was making lots of food. Cause she had like, like twenty. She has like twenty kids mm -hmm. all hungry. It looks like she has like twenty kids, and she said she was she was gonna try to make an omelet. The book said she was gonna try. She was pro she had a plan to make an omelet, so she probably pushed Humpty to make an omelet. So I have a question, right? How come she couldn't just go to the store and, and why would she want to push Humpty? Why couldn't she just go to the store and get some food? Mm, maybe they didn't make them. Who didn't make them? 
Maybe they did. People. People didn't make stores yet. Um, maybe the people didn't make stores. What else could we say? Maybe I infer that like Jesus was born in Jerusalem. Maybe she has twenty kids, but I don't know. I don't know if she pushed her, but I can infer that um, maybe one of her kids pushed Humpty because maybe. she has like I don't know how many. So now you're saying not the lady. But maybe the kids pushed him, huh? Yeah, because they wanted something to eat. Maybe they were starving. Okay. But wh why Humpty? Why couldn't they just go to the store? What is Humpty? Humpty egg. Egg. So why couldn't they just go to the store and buy eggs? I want you to turn and talk. I want you to think deep about that question. Why wouldn't they just go to the store and buy eggs? Keep that chair on the floor, sir. So that she probably, like, one of the kids or her probably went she, up there. She was in a hurry and she didn't go to the store. Yeah. She probably went up there and she got the eggs. She got the eggs. Yeah. 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 Ye
Humpty feet without Humpty feet to the trip. But there's also some guards over there, so they probably could have pushed them too. Because they're way over there, they could have pushed them. And they're, not, over using, there. they're not using Humpty real mouths, they're using so they spoons and forks and like that. Yeah. They could have just got this Got the sheet angle that's a good sound they got. Right, in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's have this group over here go first. Guys, what did you think? And we're going to give everybody a chance to talk. Go ahead. Well, the army has a fork, a knife, and a spoon. And, and the suspects look angry, so it could have been them. Okay, so you think, so why would they have fork, a knife, and a spoon? To eat, to eat Humpty. Oh, so they they came up there with the intention to push Humpty to yeah. get some food, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe they were hungry, hungry, and that guy, and the one in the horse, that man is smiling. He's smiling like he's he's yeah. sneering, huh? Yeah. He's like, like our word of the week. He's kind of looking evil. Like, okay, if we go up here and we push Humpty, we can all have something to eat from this long march, yeah. huh? Okay. And anybody else on this team want to add anything? You want to add anything? I like the way you asked him. Did he want to add anything? That was good. Yes. I have heard that they were tall. And Humpty had his feet out. He, he probably tripped off the wall. He might have tripped off the wall. If he, he's sitting up there, he could trip? You think so? Maybe they pushed him. Maybe they pushed him, right? Okay, so you think they would have pushed him because there were so many of those guys. They needed yeah. to eat, right? They needed to eat. Excellent job. And girls, what do you think about little Bo Peep here? Well, little Bo Peep got bread in her hand, so she probably was hungry, so she pushed Humpty Dumpty, and um, she probably made a sandwich, egg sandwich. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Um, I think Bo Peep to push too because she has that little sneer, sneer look out her face on her face like an evil look or it could have been the guards because they're right here and they could have just like hurt the sheep and they ran up to Humpty and accidentally pushed the hit the wall and Humpty might have tripped over and fell over instead of uh, wiggling and fell over. Okay. Alright, last one. Little Boy's Pink King could have hit, hit Humpty and pushed him over. Say that again? Little boy's people came, could have hit him, could have pushed him over. Oh, that's a very good inference, and you use clues from the text. text and kind of your schema because you kind of peep. I saw you looking at that cane, and you were, I think you were thinking it's a pretty long cane, huh? Yes. So she could have probably reached up there and pushed him. You guys made some very good inferences. Give yourselves a pat on the back, and thank you guys for helping me out. I'm going to give you an additional assignment to do, and I'll collect it before the end of the day.